So I've seen a lot of NBA fans talking about this online, and I, feel, I really feel like I got to kind of weigh in and put my put my opinions forward on this again. Swaggy P, the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Young. Again, the man who I often quote when he said this one thing about Iggy Azalea one time. You see what I'm going in this car with? Yes, I do. She's beautiful. What I'm going to do with this shouldn't be legal. <laughs> it's just so iconic, and I don't know why, but I relate to that for, for no particular reason whatsoever. Not like I get any women, but you know what? Swaggy P is my spirit animal. Anyway, apparently he said LeBron, KD, and Steph should team up next year. Now, I don't know how Kevin Durant is going to manage to trade his way out of his 18th team, but I do agree with one thing, and that is, for some reason, something inside of me would make me very happy, probably more happier than in a Ballad Angel video, if LeBron James and Steph Curry teamed up. Now, I am... A Cleveland Cavaliers fan, so a big part of me doesn't like the Golden State Warriors again. Of course, we all know the Cavaliers beat the Warriors fair and square in 2016, and then they decided to do something that will hopefully and probably never be seen in sport ever again, but sign arguably the near best player in the league somehow. Like, I, I don't, I, I just don't understand how. <laughs> you look back at it and you're like, what the fuck? How did that happen, right? Anyway, moving on from that, even though I should probably still hate the Golden State Warriors and still be somewhat jealous that they took a couple extra championships off my team, I do believe LeBron James and Steph Curry would be awesome and it needs to happen, especially considering that the Golden State Warriors are expected to completely like blow it up. This would be awesome. And again, if you don't know what I mean by blow it up, Chris Paul, who has got $30 million owed to him next year's contract, is actually not guaranteed, which is pretty funny. The rumor has it that the Warriors are going to waive him, which again, if some people are like, well, wouldn't that hurt LeBron James' feelings if he doesn't get to play with Chris Paul? No, I think that LeBron James knows the situation and knows that Chris Paul and the Warriors does not fit whatsoever and if he came as well it would even less fit and make even less sense right again we know that Andrew Wiggins the Warriors are expected to attach a first or two to him to try and trade him out and bring in some solid role players and then we know Clay Thompson is expected to get a massive 90 million dollar three-year deal by uh, of course the Orlando Magic, and I think it's very safe to say he will 100% leave. If, if we take all of those things into account, this Golden State Warriors team is currently left with basically Steph Curry, Kevon Looney, Draymond Green, a couple of rookie type players, and whoever else role players they get back in for Andrew Wiggins, right? Oddly enough, I still feel like LeBron James coming to this team could make noise. For a long time, I was like, the reason LeBron won't go to the Warriors is because he and Draymond would not make sense and they would be a terrible duo. Even though I still don't think they would be that great of a duo, a part of me has actually changed into thinking that they might somehow work, especially if you got a center in who can shoot the ball. Again, if you had Looney at the five, Green at the four and LeBron at the three, that is a that is a tragedy right there. That will be so terrible. But if you had a center who can shoot at the five, Draymond at the four, and LeBron at the three, something about that could low-key be interesting. And the reason I say this is because LeBron cannot go into a starting five where the center and power forward cannot shoot the ball, right? It just wouldn't work. He needs some floor spacing to do what he knows how to do best. But... If you were to go onto this team and have Draymond at power forward and have a center that can shoot, it would work in terms of having Draymond Green. He'd finally have a player who can take the ball handling duties off him. Again, it's been the massive issue on the Los Angeles Lakers for a couple years where Point LeBron worked so well in the first couple years and it was awesome, but he always had like a Rajon Rondo or someone else to take the ball off his hands back then. Uh, just on the Lakers now, it just hasn't been like that. They brought in Gabe Vincent to do that. 
Gabe Vincent didn't play the whole entire like season and now is just stinking it up in the playoffs because he's so undercooked. Then you got D'Lo who has become such an off-ball player in this league. And when he does have the ball, he's just not confident to play make at all. In fact, I've never even seen him try and play make in a Lakers jersey. And then the only other one who like kind of takes the ball off him is Austin Reeves, right? It's just not enough. And it, it makes LeBron have to do so much more than he has to do. Draymond Green, though, is an elite playmaker and is an elite defender. And something, like, tells me that having him on this team would actually help LeBron because you actually have some guy who can take the ball off LeBron and give him a bit of a break. But also, he adds so much defense and great defense on that team where it makes a ton of sense. You've also got Steph Curry, who is definitely an off-ball point guard. But again, I don't think people realize that when Steph Curry wants to be, he can be one of the best playmakers in the whole entire NBA. If you were to somehow trade Wiggins and two first round picks, right? And you sent him to the Dallas Mavericks and you took on Maxi Kleber's bad contract, but you brought like a Josh Green in return. I still feel like Maxi Kleber would be an awesome player to put with LeBron again. He's not very good, but a guy who can come in off the bench and have 10 to 15 minutes and just shoot some threes that LeBron and Draymond can play make too would make sense. Josh Green is a really elite shooter and just hasn't been able to show what he can do as a role player in the league because he's already obviously got two massive guards there that take up all the minutes in Luka and Kyrie. If you were to put Josh Green at that too, that would be an interesting thing as well. Again, I don't know what five they could bring in who could shoot. I mean, Nikola Vucevic is probably going to be up for trade. I mean, is I still don't think Vuce is that good anymore. Um, but again, the type of player that Vuce was a couple of years ago that could shoot the ball and average 15 and 10 would be cool on this team. Again, not the greatest defender out there, but you still have freaking Draymond Green, who is just so good, so underrated as a defender. So it makes me think a starting five is like something like that, like Steph Curry at the one, Josh Green at the two, LeBron at the three, Draymond at the four, and like a Vucevic type of player from like a couple years ago, right? Would low key be really interesting if something super realistic? Plus off the bench, you'd have all those young dudes there. Again, I guess if Kaminga is still playing as well, Kaminga might, might start. Again, I hope he doesn't get traded. He obviously shouldn't. I just kind of, I guess, forgot about him. But let's just say, again, yeah, Kaminga in that starting five as well, right? Like, I guess LeBron would go to the one. Um, Curry at the two. Curry would obviously defend the one, though. But on offense, it would be LeBron at the one. Curry at the two. Kaminga at the three. Draymond at the four. And, like, a shooting center at the five. That's elite. Again, off the bench, Josh Green. Uh, Maxi Cleaver. Uh, of course, a couple of their other young players they've got there, like Moses Moody. Uh... Jackson, Trey Davis, I think his name is, actually looks really good. Kevon Looney off the bench as well. Definitely feel like they would sign another guy or two here and there. But yeah, that team, that team would be really good with Steve Kerr's coaching. Again, that, that's a really solid squad. We finally get to see LeBron and Curry play together. Draymond actually has a role on that team. There's role players everywhere. Kaminga could still develop into being a really awesome player, even if LeBron is there. Does LeBron James on the Golden State Warriors make sense? Yeah, it does. Again, salary cap wise, I didn't really talk about that in this video. I don't know how it would work. I'm sure they would find a way. But again, Bronny on like a two-way type of deal, something like that. There's a ton of different things that the Golden State Warriors can do that I think would get a lot of fan interest and would definitely get them back in the playoffs, I, I, I personally believe. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Would LeBron James be a good player to go to the Golden State Warriors or would it just not work? I'd very much like to know. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.